Well, it's looking more and more likely that we're going to see a major winter storm across the area. We did upgrade some of those winter storm watches to winter storm warnings. Those were in the purple, includes Yellowstone. Also, Cody, even though it doesn't show up on the map here. All the way down toward Thermopolis, Riverton, Casper, up toward Buffalo. Now, the purple areas, these are winter weather advisories. Not quite as much snow expected there, but it does look like there'll be a little bit of impact here. The Teton, Salt, Wyoming range. Also, if you're traveling I-8 to the east of Rock Springs, out toward Wom Sutter, could get a little bit uh, dicey there as we head toward especially Monday night to Tuesday. So that winter storm watching effect for the eastern Bighorn Basin. Still a little uncertainty for snowfall amounts there, but there'll probably be an advisory or warning here when you wake up tomorrow morning. As we time out the impacts, we'll see that snow spreading into the northwest as we head through tonight, but most areas east of the divide should be mainly dry through tonight, so no problems there. Monday is when uh, the precipitation comes in moving northwest to southeast across the area. Now, most areas east of the divide, you should stay mainly rain through most of the daytime hours. Now, the exception might be out toward the Cody Foothills, out toward Dubois, for example. A little uh, higher elevation there, so they could turn over to snow a little bit quicker. We'll have more on that in just a minute. But the heart of the winter storm, and I think uh, the worst conditions, probably Monday night, especially later Monday night to Tuesday, colder rain, any rain mix will change over to snow for most areas. Become windy as well, blowing some of that snow around a little bit. So difficult travel conditions are likely during that time period. As far as road closures, again, I can't nail that down at this point, but it wouldn't surprise me if you did see a few of those. And Tuesday night into Wednesday, we should begin to see improving conditions, especially after midnight Tuesday, and especially into Wednesday. Now, those of you in the Trona Johnson counties, you could see a little lingering snow even in the Wednesday morning before it finally clears the area, I think, by about noon. So uh, maximum wind gusts will be another story, nothing really, really high. Highest winds we expect, it could be some gusts of 40, 50 miles per hour. So even though not a ton of snow down here, it could be impactful. Uh, Buffalo, when you get the northwest flow, could be some gusts maybe to 30, 40 miles per hour up in that area as well. That could be impacted as well. But many areas see gusts of 30 to 35 miles per hour. So it is definitely going to feel like winter, even though we're in the middle of fall right now. So as you look at the individual impacts, cold temperatures, this isn't going to be a really cold system. We're not looking at record lows by any means. Lows probably in the 20s, highs in the you know, mid to up, I should say low to mid 30s. So a lot of media impact here. This is Wyoming. Everybody's used to it. The row conditions, medium impact there. This will be mainly during the nighttime hours, also the higher elevations. Now during the day, you know it's been very warm lately. Ground temperatures still, are still pretty warm. Sun angle is still fairly high. It's about the same as it is in March. So any snow that falls during the day, especially if it doesn't come down really hard, it'll probably melt on the roads, except maybe up the mountain passes. So over the overnight hours when the sun goes down, that's when the road impacts will really ramp up. And the other thing we got to talk about, I didn't talk about yesterday, that was power outages. Now there will be some wind with this. It's going to depend on what the trees look like in your area. If the leaves are falling off, probably not as much as an impact, but we looked at some webcams. There is still some green on some of those trees. So heavy wet snow, some wind sticking to the trees. We're going to call that medium for that impact. Hard to nail down where those will occur as well, but don't be surprised at some scattered power outages with some of those limbs possibly snapping off the trees with the heavy wet snow. So we time out the maximum impacts to the west, mainly a Monday into Monday night event. It should begin to end there as we head toward Tuesday. In the most areas east of the divide, maximum impacts there from about Monday night into Tuesday. A little bit later as you head further east out toward Casper, Buffalo, maybe late Monday night to Tuesday, maybe lasting into Tuesday night in that vicinity. So you're asking me, how about how much snow are we going to get? A couple things I want to emphasize here. Number one, focus on the impacts, not the snowfall amounts. It's an early season snow. And as I said before, whether you get four inches or ten inches, if the power is out, you can't get anywhere. It doesn't really matter how much snow you get. For most people, no, probably not. And the other big thing is, before you start judging us on that, because the ground's really warm, a lot of it might melt on contact. The total accumulation grids I'm going to show you. It's not going to be what you see on the ground at once. This isn't going to stick on the ground and just pile up. A lot of it might melt, especially initially during the daytime hours. And I know you want to know how much you think we're going to get. I'll give you a couple of ranges here. We think at least this much is going to fall across much of the area, about a 90% chance of this occurring. So the highest amounts, I think at least six. This might be a little high, Cody, maybe at least six inches there, about five in Buffalo, around six in Thermopolis. You can see places like Great will might not see any at all with that easterly flow coming off of the uh, uh, big horns in this area. Generally about uh, three to six inches across the uh, Wind River Basin, around four inches around Casper. Maybe only a small amount down here across uh, southern Wyoming. And across the west, other than Yellowstone, not really a ton of impact there. Now, the likely worst case scenario, if that occurs, much higher there. You can see maybe 17, 18 inches up around Cody. Now, Buffalo could do really well at us. Now, keep in mind, this is the worst case scenario. Don't come here and say, oh my God, we're going to get 20 inches of snow. 
there's only a small chance of this occurring, but maybe up to maybe 20 inches in Buffalo. And across the Wind River Basin, calves were maybe up to about a foot. And then across the western areas, maybe up to five inches in Jackson and Afton, and about two to four across much of the areas out to the west. Now, the most likely scenario, this is our official forecast. That's what you want to know, obviously. Highest amounts, Cody about 8 to 12 there. Buffalo could do really well out of this, 12. 18 might be pushing it a little bit. I'm thinking maybe there, maybe about 8 to maybe 12 there as well, across much of Johnson County. Casper about 4 to 6. That'll be right in downtown more, obviously more. His head up toward Casper Mountain with the increase in elevation. Riverdale about 6 to 8. Thermopolis, Lander, Cody probably do the best out of this with the wind direction coming out this way. With the mountain ranges here and here. It's going to be upslope, squeezing that moisture out. Across the west, highest amounts up here in Yellowstone Park, 6 to 8 in uh, Lake Yellowstone, maybe higher amounts in the mountains, obviously. Least affected area, probably around the Jackson Valley, probably won't be a ton here, just mainly up in the mountains. And down here across the south, anywhere from about, say, 1 to 3 inches locally, higher amounts, though, as you head out toward Wamp Center. Here's our resources for weather, weather.gov slash R-A-W, that's our website. Now, road conditions, I want to emphasize this because we always get calls for this. We don't have any inf inside information on road conditions, when they're going to open, when they're going to close. Go to YDOT for that. On the web, wildroad.info. You want to call them on the phone, 511, that's in-state, out-of-state, 188 Wild Road. Now, if you want to take a look at the webcam spy route, take a look for yourself. It's a great resource on our webpage. Go to weather.gov, click on our local programs tab. Then go down to webcams by route. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your week.